Since 1969, PBS has been providing educational programming with shows such as Sesame Street. According to The Hill, President Trump's proposed budget cuts may include funds going to the Corporation of Public Broadcasters, which funds PBS programming. Since 2015, Sesame Street episodes have first shown on the paid streaming service HBO. Streaming on HBO allows Sesame Street programmers to create more content because it creates a higher revenue. But some AU students, like education major Dana Thomas, worry that if PBS goes away, kids won't have educational programming. I think it's important that kids have access to PBS because you have important shows on there like Sesame Street that's teaching them about language. Other AU students, like Lizzie Funfgeld, aren't worried about PBS programming going away. I don't think the government needs to fund it, though, necessarily. If it's that big of a profit, somebody will take it. According to Vox.com, 65% of the CPB's budget goes toward keeping rural PBS and NPR stations running. Former PBS station production manager Dave McCoy explains that the purpose of PBS is to be widely accessible to the public. So if we take something like Sesame Street, which is critically important to the educational foundation of young people, we take it away from an over-the-air service. Now we've decreased, especially for people who have lower income, that ability to get Sesame Street. Congress has yet to start the decision-making process for the proposed budget cuts. For AUTV20, I'm Callan Pugh.